I'll see you with the next one, which is What If. All right? What If? Let's go. What If? The title of the song, What If? So she burned the gym on the hay. Am I really like that? He man, Gung Jung, the old and old good, the sound cake. Good your heart, so in the blue, when you die, go sing a kiss. So my music must be, my feel, I made it myself. Burn, the moon, you do the jig hole. Break it, move it, let me dig it, mad, I'm moving to the jig. Kill so is it? I'm a nature, I can't. I'm so hungry, I'm a tank. I'm not. Hey, I'm down, I'm bitching, I'm person. I hold up. My God, J-Hope. J-Hope is an artist. Whoa. Whoa. We went from that hopeful message and straight back into the the, the unfiltered rawness we go. This is J-Hope having have a conversation with himself. This is a, like an inner monologue of J-Hope. Um, but how, how amazing is it the way that his rap transmits or his his songs really transmits the emotion or the kind of theme that he's pushing here which is uncertainty uh doubt um confusion things you know this kind of inner fight that he's having um and you feel it you feel it especially during this just kind of i don't, I don't know what you call it but it's just before the actual chorus here can i do this let me think can i do this and then the music just whoop, Then just like, oh, just the sort of energy that he's bringing here. And he's having this, I think he's having this conversation with himself. Is this Jung Ho Sok and J-Hope having a conversation? Because he's wondering, what if I didn't have any hope, any dreams, any passions, any visions? Then what? And he's asking, he starts it off by asking himself, is this who I really am? Is this something that I just do? Or is, it, is this something I'm, cap I'm actually capable of? You know, if it were you. I asked J Hope. So this is Jung Ho Sok. I asked J Hope, if it were you, would you be able to pull through with what you said? Maybe it was my intention. I'm a product of countless environments. Your persona, hold up. So then we get to this. How are you doing, bro? Looks like you're enjoying life these days, trying to look all cool. What could troubles and hardships mean to you? You've only ever go gone up the safe stairs. So you might not know what they mean. Actually, you may have it all now. Money, fame, fortune. And even the people you like are following you. To love myself and to hold on to hope. Are those things you could tell yourself even if you lost everything and hit rock bo bottom? I wish. That just like, the goosebumps just kick in. I wish. And then we get to this again. Can I do this? Can I do that shit? Can I do this? Can I do this? 
if I didn't have these things. That is an incredible perspective, an incredible way to showcase your doubts and make it into a song. Because I am a regular person. I am not J-Hope. I'm not even in J-Hope's realm when it comes to, you know, just lifestyle in general. The thing is, I have doubts about my myself. I think everybody has doubts about themselves. And the way he's rep representing it here is just so incredible because I would not have been able to do it. But if I would, after seeing this, this is how I would actually do it. Like, would I have, like, asking myself these questions, who's going to answer them? No one. But instead, I'm stuck with this kind of having to basically limbo and go through these things. That's what J-Hope is doing here. It's really, really incredible. What if? Wow. <sighs> Let's move on to the next one. This is this is a story. This is, you know, when he said Jack in the Box, when he said he was going to tell a story with each song, that's exactly what it is. He's just getting everything out of this box that he's been in and telling us about what he's gone through. You know, just like you have J-Hope, the sunshine, the Hobie sunshine, there is also... You know, after the sun goes down, what do you get? You get the moon, you get the night, you get the darkness, you get that other side where things aren't as visible as they are to the sunshine. And he's sharing these through incredibly written songs, by the way. Uh, also, I really like the beat. It's very old school. Once again, you hear like, I love the way he's doing these like beats, but this one is, is old schoolish. Um, I would say maybe early 2000s maybe a, perhaps a bit earlier um but it's it's really cool regardless next we have safety zone we have safety zone future and arson left let's get it safety zone let's go <laughs> what is this Where is the mind? Where's my safe joint? When draw, on a draw, go straight. What's my safe joint? Ego, juggle, or axe. Oh, them so can know where hand you give each and all your Go to the can home, I need to jump up a Louis guy. Where's my safe joint? When draw, on a draw, go straight. What's my safe joint? Ego, juggle, or axe. Need to show them that I'm doing more. Not a good people. Where's the John? Kunje though, pig and night green John. But he gives us something kind of soon, and he can't hack a nice safe joy. Oh, them so can know where Hanjuki Beach and Odir Ka. Go to the Kan home, I need a job of a Louis Ka. Where's my safe joy? When Joe, on a job, go straight. What's my safe joy? Ego, juggle, or axe. Oh, them so can know where Hanjuki Beach and Odir Ka. Wow. Go to the Kan home, I need a job of a Louis Ka. Where's my safe joy? When Joe, on a job, go straight. What's my safe joy? Wow, this one, this one, straight into the heart, this one. This is 
giving me R&B, R&B vibes. It's an R&B song. This is it's an R&B song with some extremely, extremely melancholic lyrics. It's it's lyrics that actually makes me sad. Because what does it ask you about? Where is his safety zone? Where where can he find souls? Where can he find that time to just be like, yeah, you know, I'm feeling safe right here. And he's talking about his life. He dedicated his 20s to his immeasurable life. The world is changing fast and I feel lonely. These are the things that he's saying. I feel lonely. It hurts. My life is my enemy. It's becoming the enemy. I live my life in step, but I am stiff. I get hit here and there. Why don't I have it? Where do I go to find it? If you look closely, even video games have safety zones. Everyone, even in video games, you have like a space where you can be safe from all the monsters, from the fighting, from everything, and you can just heal up, is what he's saying. I also want to go there. Where's that mindset? Is that is it that is it something that even exists in my mind? Where is the ray of light of security in this darkness? A quiet home? Or is it that blue in the distance? Blue is a color he always brings up. Where is my safe zone? Left, right, go straight? What's my safe zone? This place, that place? Or X? Oh, the chair of the people who trust me. If they turn their backs to, it'll be cold. The people who have led me, if I think hard about it, I get scared. Even to the people that share the same blood, his family, I can't let it all out because there's a sense of duty. Lately, I like animals more than people because of the bonding that you can do with an animal. It's quiet, it's peaceful, and there's no motives, there's no ultra anything. It's just a cute animal wanting to spend time with you. It is the most innocent-like thing that you can possibly do is having a nice bond with an animal because the animal is simple, pure, and very loving in its general nature. But I feel it's safe destruction. I feel like a sunset facing death. Shine goes dark. Light to soothe the night and dawn. Right for mine. Where's that zone? A place to avoid even big disasters. My green zone. But as soon as I chose this path, will there ever be one? My safe zone. Oh my god. First of all, the, the beat is just absolutely sublime. His transmitting of emotions, his way of singing, the vocals, the rapping. Everything about this is just simply sublime. But there's that, there's that, oh, that bittersweet feeling in this. Honestly, I don't know. If there's a sweet feeling in this, it's just this is this is what prompts me to always talk about BTS in general and just how people disregard what they've done and they just look at them, oh they're famous, oh they have money. That that's not how life works. Literally, that's not how life works. You can want a car. If you have ten troubles in your life and I get you a car that you like, a car is gonna make you happy, but it's not gonna solve the other ten problems that you have in life. You know? Everyone has their own issues. Regardless of fame, money, statue, st uh, status, or anything. But this says a lot. He doesn't feel like he has a safe zone. You know, he's everybody's safe zone. He, Everybody can find some safety in him and BTS and just be like, yeah, this is, you know, like you come home, you've had a rough day, and you watch some, some BTS, and you feel like, ah, this is amazing. This is like you feel comforted. But where is his? <sighs> Almost brought me to tears, honestly, because this is the fact that he can't even talk to his, his blood can't let it all out it's difficult it's difficult he's been keeping all these things in which is why he was so uncertain before the release of jack in the box he was like he was a little bit nervous he didn't know exactly how it was going to be because he's actually choosing to just put everything out there all the things that he's been holding up it's never good to hold up and bottle things up and i feel like this is an incredible thing for him to be able to just let these songs out where he expresses his emotions Let's go to the next one. Oh, wow. Next one, we have future. Future, future, future. Give me one moment and we'll go on to future. There we go. The penultimate track, um, Future by J Hope. Let's get straight into it. Uh, let's see what he's saying here. Oof. 
What an album. Always. I need it too. What I said I do. You and me. The good young and we. The always. I need it too. Hey. What I said I do. Need it again. The he and he girl. Always. I was. I was. I was. I was good and I'm good. You told me about your channel. Wow, we get a choir looking thingy like with the, with the children in the back. Um, this was way more lighthearted. It was, you know, uh, a little step up and the lightheartedness. Uh, and I love it. You know, he's talking about it too. He need he needs courage, faith, positivity, hope, uh, and he's talking about you know his uh, his his story is very beautiful, you know someone that just liked to dance and now look at him now, look at the man that he's become now, look at the skills that this guy has developed, look at the things that he has achieved, him and his fellow brothers, it's absolutely incredible. Right now I feel the most right, the most like me, like me. I always become the subject of my fights with myself. In the end, my mind is covered with bruises. Try on, like how I wear different clothes, like the way I like to drive. I let life take its course. Beautiful. Oh my God, this is uh, this is actually a really good song. I mean, he should definitely sing more. J Hope, J Hope vocals. I want so much more of. Oh my God, I mean, his rapping is already insane. Like being able to control your flow and rap to the same beat is really difficult. I'm um, trust me, it is so difficult. Like rapping isn't about saying I need it too when I said I do. The future. Like it's just not just like one, two, one, two, one, two. Those are the most basic steps. That's basically the basics of rapping. Is it's basically like a child learning how to crawl. Like the levels to be able to control, mix and match flows to the same beat and basically add your own unique touch to it. That's when you truly become a master. And, uh, you know, he's doing it wonderfully now. <laughs> I know which song comes after this. <laughs> it's Arson. <laughs> so we're about to burn. We're about to burn. But let's put it on. J-Hope Arson. J Hope Arson, let's go. <sighs> am I ready? Yes, I am. Let's burn. 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 Burn.
I said this before I say it again this is definitely this must be related to yin yang all right because yin yang you have darkness and you have the opposite right and this album explores the darkness part so I'm feeling like he's laying here in the middle and th these are the two parts and you can see his heart was still burning it's just such an explosive song now one of the things that I truly think is like is wonderful that uh, you notice the more you listen to it listen to how everything just starts Dead. His rap gets more and more haunting, more and more quicker, wilder, raw, and more energetic. It's just listen to this. We go from that to. <laughs> This song is incredible, I'm telling you. He's talking about, you know, sometimes in life, like, he has reached a point where do I continue to burn or do I stop? You know, he is, this is once again a song. I've already done a reaction on this, so I'm not going to delve too deeply into this. But it is, it is a song that explores his doubts, his, the magnitude of what he's achieved, um, questioning himself what he should be doing next. What is, what is his move? What should he be doing? Um... You know, even after all he's done, he's literally lit the world on fire. Even if he stops now, he'll still have to deal with the after effects of said fires. Now, as you can see, his heart is still burning. It's beating, it's burning. That's what you see. Do I put out the fire or do I burn even brighter? This is an incredibly raw song. Once again, exploring those dark elements. Um, it's 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 just, you know, talking about... Once again, him, his inner self, how how he feels, the fear, everything else. Like, uh, it is so difficult to put into perspective. You know, like, if I'm always, if I've spent my whole life eating meat, I cannot sit here and try to pretend that I know what it's like to just be a vegetarian. I don't know. I, I can't. And it's really hard for people to understand what they go through. In this case, it's J-Hope. Their amount of the careers that they have been been uh, living, uh, the life that they've been living, the amount of success, fame, and everything else, and it's not just their work, but also things like you know becoming ambassadors and and speaking at the UN, White House, and just being the face for so many things and putting your heart out there. It's scary. 
it's literally scary as someone else just the mention of those things are scary i cannot imagine the pressure that it's something that not, not even they have imagined when they started off that they would reach this this amount of of fame right and that's the beauty of what they've done because they haven't changed who they are but it also comes with like everything like there's no there's no life without negativity and there's no life with there's just positivity it's you know there's a mix and match regardless of whatever you do in life there's always going to be you know a part that you like and a part that you don't like um and he is explaining to us you know the the doubts that he has in his mind this is probably the darkest song on this whole album uh lyrically <laughs> energy wise uh, and one of the things I love is like when he, you know, he's talking about his priorities as a as a human being, how how things, what what mattered to him back then, what matters to him now, what he was chasing back then, and what he's looking at right now. Things have changed, but this has been the Jack in the Box album. So we listen from track one to uh, the very last track, which is Arson. So I'm gonna give my final thoughts on the whole.